what's up guys welcome back welcome back i know you guys was hoping for me to return with a bang and i have returned with a bang we're starting season three today the last kingdom you guys already know last season was a banger i don't know if we're gonna have another time skip again but um First, let me say thank you guys so much for watching this. Thanks for all the well wishes throughout the time that I took off. Um, thank you guys so much for appreciating that I'm trying to do this thing here. And didn't want to take a break, but I was forced to take a break. You guys really overwhelmed me with the responses. So I really thank you guys for that. Um... So if I should give you guys a report, she is okay now, you know, um, she's doing fine. She's doing okay for now. She's out of the woods, you know, as they would say, she's out of the woods. <laughs> um, but in any case, um, she's, you know, moving about. And everything is okay right now. But anyways, let's jump into these reactions, man. Season 3, Episode 1. Let's see what they got in store for us. Last season was really, really good. I'm interested to see where Alfred's and Uhtred's relationship is going to go. Aether Flood's relationship with Uhtred also. To see where that's going to end up. Not romantically, but just overall. Because they more have more of like a brother-sister relationship more than anything else. Um, so yeah, let's jump in and see what new storyline they're going to come up with now, um, to continue. Cause we still want to see the ultimate thing, which is Uhtred of Bebenberg return to Bebenberg. Okay. So let's do this and I will see you guys for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2. Oh, my God, that was so good. So good, right? Amazing, amazing. Um, Really got me in my feelings there on that second episode, man. I was, I was angry. Um, as I said, sometimes you really do have to look at this stuff subjectively. And not always objectively, even though you guys know I love to look at stuff objectively. Alfred is still one of my favorite characters in the show, character-wise. As in, the type of character, how he's being written in the show, makes him one of my favorite. But, in terms of, from a subjective point of view, He's nowhere close to a person I want to be, I want to see on screen at this moment. I'm just saying. So, you know, listen, all that, all the stuff that went on from episode one to episode two with Skade, cursing, Uhtred and all that, and all that stuff, like, you know, when stuff like that is going on on screen, I always take it extremely lightly. It's not, it's not the first and it won't be the last. Okay. So don't get offended if I, you, you know what I mean? If I say certain things, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause I'm just acting as if the person is talking to me because if, if they, if she was saying that to me, I'd be like, okay, sure. <laughs> Go on ahead, do your stuff whatever say what you gotta say right it's always like that with me but in the context of the show i understand what the, what they were going for and of course i believed what she what she was saying because you know the the dane um you know the whole you know nordic mythology and, and all of that um it's just it's just a wonderful thing to see them explore that some some more um, in the context of the show. So uh, I'm always gonna be here for that stuff. Some of it is obviously going to be fake. Some of it is going to be for real, for real. That stuff they believe in, they see it, they understand it, and it's very true that what 
you know Alfred said about them, which is like if they see a bird fly, they think it's a sign. It's very true. They take a lot of things very serious that happen, especially nature stuff. So um, I do have to agree with him on that, even though he was kind of like making fun of them. But at the same time, it's very true. It's very true. It, it's, it, you know, a lot of the stuff that they do is have a, have a deeper meaning, of course. And I totally understand that if you go into the lore of Nordic mythology, you're going to find a lot of things that, you know, just like any religion, you get what I'm saying? You're going to find things that are unbelievable. You're going to find things that there's no way that is true. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to have those kind of reactions to it. Um, according to how the story is going right now with him, you know, kind of pledging his allegiance to the Danes again. Like I'm, I'm kind of iffy on that because the thing about Uhtred, I don't think, I don't think he's going to go for this. I really don't think Uhtred is going to go for this because in his eyes, he's, he's just the type of character that I don't see him doing this. I don't think, I don't see him turning a hundred percent on Alfred because they're still, they're still, at, um, they're still at the fled his kids are still over there there's still a lot for him to not go all out against alfred knowing that you know he ha he still has friends there if you want to say that but alfred is definitely i mean other than the other times that he's disappointed me with certain things that he's done he went overboard he he, he went there where i didn't want him to go and Utre did, you know what I'm saying, like, take him hostage and all that other stuff. And he, put, he got pushed to the edge, man. He got pushed to the edge. So that's why I'm asking you guys to put you, put yourself, who, those of you who have always disagreed with what I'm saying, put yourself in, Alf, in, 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 in Utre's shoes for just a second and say, how much of this could you possibly take? Hits after hits after hits. Even though you're still making like irrational decisions sometimes and you don't make the best of decisions. Imagine you do so many things for a friend, right? Um, for a person that you have considered friend, rescued him, fight with him. And then you're asking him to forgive you for this one thing when they all saw that all you did was basically accidentally kill someone. You didn't mean to kill him. All you did was slap him. And you're asking that he, he doesn't ask for much. He said, I'll pay the price. I'll pay the monetary price. But I don't want to pledge to your son or pledge that I will serve in your company, if you want to put it in today's terms, that I, I don't want to be in your company forever. All I'm asking you, because of all of this stuff that I've done for you, can you just Please let this one go. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll pay the price. You know what I'm saying? You know, and he just couldn't do that. Would you still, would you still act like a bitch and just sit there and take all the shafting that you, that he's been getting over all this time. Would you still do that? Or would you be pushed over the edge? I know I would be pushed over the edge to maybe do something stupid or whatever the situation is. And don't even, you, you know what I'm saying? Like some people say, Oh, I would play it safe and try to get out escape a different way but how else was Utrecht going to get out of that situation they closed the door behind him there was no other way for him to get out of that situation other than doing what he did I probably would have done the same thing is all I'm saying so sometimes you really do have to look at these things from a subjective point of view sometimes and not just an objective point of view because um you will you know it's not all the time if you can relate to a character Yes, you're going to be kind of biased towards them. But if you look at it from an objective point of view, I still can't give Alfred a pass for what he's been doing. Because he, you are king. You are the king. The crown is not the king. The law is not the king. You are king. You can make decisions. I'm not saying to circumvent the entire um, system. But some of it needs to change. You can go against it because you are king. 
you can look at it and say, this man has been loyal to me even, the man has been loyal to me to save his brother. The man has this, to, to, the man has served me all this time. I mean, I don't even know how to put this because it's just, it's just so weird to me that Alfred, he's conflicted. And you can see that in the scene where he was sitting there by himself crying. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not worried about anything else. He's just, he knows that what Hootred said to him was, was facts. Yes, he held his own. Yes, he held his own while he was, you know, while Uhtred was talking to him. He was talking back. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he's like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'll be in heaven and you'll be in hell. All this other stuff, that's just talk, man. That's just talk because he didn't want to seem like a bitch. I get it. But at the end of the day, my brother, my friend, Alfred, you know what it is. You know that Uhtred had plenty of chances to betray you and he didn't he didn't so my guy come on man you know what i'm saying and as for elswith i don't understand what's with her why does she want utra dead so much I, I i don't understand she's just waiting for the smallest of things for him to do to be like off with his head you know what i'm saying she she despises pagans so much to the point where it doesn't matter what they do for her. It's like they all deserve to die. Oh my god. It's crazy. It is crazy. You man, get the hell out of here with your ugly ass self, man. Like for real. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a really good job of making her look ugly this season. They just decided no makeup for her anymore. Let's just Yeah. <laughs> but anyways guys um shout out to finnan man finnan is a real one um love the dude how he just stays by utrid's side no matter what um so we'll see how things move forward there with ragnar um i'm starting to like skate i'm i'm starting to like her because you know she's come around she you know even though she's a witch you know, she's starting to come around to a character that I that I like. Every time her presence on screen, as I said, reminds me a lot of Lagatha. When Lagatha was on screen, she she completely takes the scene away completely from everybody else. That's what Skade does. Like her dialogue, her lines are very powerful lines, and she delivers them very well. Very good actress, man. Very um good actress. Um love the scenes that she is in. Um, she, she speaks with authority, uh, 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 something that you don't see very often, um, when it comes on to female characters in shows. Um, so I, I, I like that, you know, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Of course, the other two episodes will be out when, um, in the next tomorrow or whenever, uh, I think it should be tomorrow because I said two episodes per day. So Monday through Friday. So we'll finish season three by the end of this week. And then um, season four should be done by the end of next week. So whenever you guys are watching this, even though I'm pre-recording all of this stuff while I'm home and then I'm going to make and then I'll put everything out at once. So might be by the time that you guys are seeing this. I will have we I will be already like way ahead, ready to pick new shows um going forward for everything. I should be done with The Walking Dead. I'm recording everything before I even come back online. So you guys should know this. Okay. So by the time I will let you guys know, I'll keep you guys informed on the Discord so you'll know when everything is going well and when i'm ready to pit new shows and also i will make a video about it when i'm coming back before any of these before you even see any of these episodes those things those videos should be out already so you know what's going to happen okay so appreciate you guys thank you guys so much leave a like on the video 
leave a comment of course let me know what you thought i know some of you are probably still going to be disagreeing with me and saying oh this and that and whatever but it's okay you know everything is welcome here i'm not telling you guys not to comment i'm just telling you guys you know just to look at things from certain perspectives sometimes and not just so hard-headedly looking at the show a certain way but if that's what you want to do that's fine still comment about it i appreciate all the comments no matter if they differ from my opinion i don't care but <laughs> when i'm in my feelings i'm in my feelings okay deal with it anyways thank you guys so much appreciate y'all see you guys later man peace